heading home from wrestling practice. It's 8, 12, and uh, just an amazing day. I just, I'm telling you, I love this. It gives me so much energy, just going to practice, rolling around with the kids, goofing off, having a good time with my coaches and friends, and just a... Uh, I'm so grateful to be able to be able to do what I do. It was a long day, um, but very productive. Double leg head on the outside, single leg head on the inside. Okay? And then swing single, forehead to forehead, swing on the neck, attack. Got it? I had a huge breakthrough in the morning. <clears throat> I think I told you that uh, I was breaking one of my rules in the morning. And that rule was something I was taught early on in my career, and that was to never operate on friends and family. And um, that was taught to me uh, because the thoughts about that were that you could lose your objectivity when taking care of a friend or family. And generally that is the way doctors think and surgeons think. But um, one of my teachers was, was pressing me on that and really kind of questioned me and asked me the question, look, if you are really the best person to do the operation, why, and you really care about your friend or your family, why wouldn't you be the only person to operate on your friend or your family? And it was a really good and challenging question for me. And I began to think about it more. And I, I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know I'm, I'm worried that, you know, if something goes wrong, you know, it could affect our relationship or it could really be a, an unpleasant experience. And, and his question to me was, look, if something goes wrong and you're still the best person to take care of them, wouldn't you want to be the person taking care of them? I mean, and... He had a good point and sort of made me really think about it. And what we, we talked about was this, this fear of taking care of uh, someone because you worry that, you know, maybe they're a VIP or they're a, a friend and the stakes get higher, you know, and you have more pressure to uh, succeed. But really, um, it's the same operation on whoever you're doing it. And to add the pressure is not in any way going to help you succeed in your surgery. And so what he kept saying to me, and this was something I, I learned recently is, you know, if you can reduce your fear and just love more, you're going to be more effective. And when I mean love more, I mean love your patient more, love your friend more, love your profession and what you do more. And if you can do that, maybe in fact you can operate on people that you know, you may be close to. So um, I, I actually was, was, had a friend who came to me and said, listen, I really want you to do the surgery and you're the one person I trust the most. So I said, you know what, I'll do it. And um, that was the operation I did this morning. And it was, it was an outstanding success because not only did I, you know, operate with that, that love, but things didn't go exactly as planned and we got into a little bit of trouble and I maintained my cool and really stayed focused on getting out of that trouble and fixing the problem that presented it and getting in through that. And so that was a, a big breakthrough for me and I'm really, really um, excited about it because it's helped me realize that you know anxiety and fear, they have no place in the operating room. And that's something that uh, uh, I need to reduce more and more. And it's made me a better surgeon. So I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. So great breakthrough in the morning and then good day of other surgeries. And, um, and then icing on the cake is wrestling practice. So good day all around.